M0 FXP, welcome back to the channel. So this is a, a budget USDX, three band, 15, 20, 40 meter, advertised as five watts. I've got my little tuner there, as you can see here. Built-in mic, and it's got a, a separate volume control. To the noise you're hearing in the background is my Zygu. So I just want to do a quick test on the audio really. So I'm going to transmit now. The PTT on this is tiny. It's that little black button there. Actually marked with the word test. Otherwise you press the tune button. And you move along with the increments for tuning, okay? And we're on 71.30, 7 7.130. I'm going to do a quick test. Now, to look at the menus, you just press. There's your mode, there's your menu. Cycle through. You, that's your mode. We're in the wrong mode at the moment. Bandwidth, band. It does show more bands than advertised. Use your USDR menu. This one does have this selection to turn off quad which is a good thing practice vox noise gate tx drive pa bias max is set to 160 iq phase okay so we'll come out and we're just going to give gets the right mode I'm going to quickly call in here so you can see my hear my audio on the Zygu. M0 FXB test. So we'll do that again, get nice and loud. And then I'll also plug in the fist mic that they, that they give us with this. It's about 90 quid this device. So here it goes, but watch out for the taps. That's my tuner going. Mic Zero Foxtrot X Ray Bravo. Not sounding too great, is it, at the moment? Mic Zero Foxtrot X Ray Bravo. No, there's no antenna or nothing. It's quite a hard, it's quite a crude test. Mic Zero Fox X Ray Bravo. So it could be okay. So let's try the fist mic, we'll plug in the fist mic, give that a go, it's only a Bofung fist mic, M0, ah, well that's not even TTT, let me push it in a bit harder, well there you are, the fist mic, isn't even activating it, so that's it. More to learn about this device. You see there, not even activating it. This is how it's marked, so it's possible that I have to, you know, activate it. There could be a setting. I'll have a look. I'll give a quick whistle on just so you can see the power with this, my little tuner here. It goes. Now I found at one point it did actually get to 9 watts. M0 FXB. So yeah, 9 watts. But I know they're quite crude tests. And earlier, when the conditions were better, I was actually receiving some good signals. It's a bit rubbish now. So from a plus, trying to find pluses here. The CW key works, seems to work fine. Well, I'm not a CW person. But look, it's going up to 10 watts there. Uh, 
and it is, you know, see that's, and I know there's a little problem with the screen. I've got another screen coming, but to me that seems usable. And you can hear the, the Zygu in the background. Not sure about the SWR reading. Looks. Have a look. No, it doesn't look. It's not silly high. I got. I have to hold this down. It's quite. It has a magnet normally. So if I can remember my call sign. No, it's been a while since I practiced. So yeah. there you are. Oh, it just transmitted then when it fell. Lots more tests to do. I have mixed feelings on it. I like the design. I can update the firmware on it. I found where to do that. It's on the board. There it is in in CW decode. You literally just set the frequency, the mode, and it just starts to decode. It's good as the how well you've tuned that signal in. So bye for now. That's the ATU one hundred. That's an AliExpress Kia, and this is, doesn't really have a name, but I call it the orange and blue button model. Bye for now.